Family and friends visited Nevaeh's grave throughout the day. Instead of marking a sad anniversary, they preferred to remember a little girl who was everybody's friend. Nevaeh was a very rambunctious, happy-go-lucky child, always smiling. Risa Smith, who was a distant cousin to Nevaeh, runs the website Justice for Nevaeh, which has raised thousands of dollars and given that money away in her honor. I think remembering her for something like, you know, a child going to preschool in her honor or a child being able to get a Christmas gift in her honor is much better than someone remembering her as a little girl buried by the riverside. Ten days after Nevaeh was abducted, two fishermen found her body encased in concrete on the banks of the River Raisin. While tips to the Nevaeh hotline are not as numerous as they were four years ago, the family still believes the killer or killers will one day be caught. I think everyone holds out hope that, that justice will be served. I don't think anyone ever wants to hear those words, cold case. Nevaeh's final resting place is at St. Joseph's Cemetery here in Monroe. The inscription on her tombstone reads, Monroe's Little Angel. I'm Hubert Wiggins, WNWO News.